is k over 100 times what? Times n. Okay, this L is known as the locator. This is your locator. So for this example, can you guys tell me what's the value of L for this example? What's the value of K? K is 75. 75 divided by 100 times, what's the value of N? What's N again? Number of, number of data scores in the sample, right? How many scores are in that table? 30. So this gives you 0.75 times 30. What is L going to be? What's that? 22.5? OK, good. 22.5. What you guys have done is the first step here. You've, you've computed the value L. L is a locator. Now, do you guys know something about this number? Bless you. Your book says this. It's, you guys know what that number is? This is, this is known as a non, this is not a whole number. This is a non-whole number. What are whole numbers? Do you guys know what whole numbers are? Numbers that are whole, I guess. What does that mean? What are the whole numbers? Well, yeah, sort of. People know it that way, but yeah. Um, I have an issue with kind of how that, that description is. This, it's easiest for actually to sort of just go with that list of numbers and say these are the whole numbers. I don't like using that non-decimal stuff because I can put a decimal for all these numbers. But yeah, you see this? One, two, three, four, five, and so on. This is not on that list. It's a non-whole number, OK? Now, this is what you do when you have a non-whole number. For a non-whole number, always, always, always round up. What does round up mean? Roundup is short for round up the value you have in L to the next whole number. So this is L, which is approximately, or it's exactly 22.5. Okay. Now L is rounded up, so it's about 20 what? 23. You guys okay with that? We did not round off, although rounding off would have given us the same answer. We round it up. So what if the value of L was 22.1 and you round up? Good. Is that simple? This stuff's too easy. <laughs> it's a crime. They shouldn't make it too that easy, right? Oh, what did I say? What? Oh, OK. If it's 22.1 and you round 22.1 up, what's the value going to be? 20 what? 23. Good. What if you rounded off? What's the value going to be? 22. What do you always do in this process for L? When it's a non-whole number, round what? Up. Put that in your notes. Round up. All right, here we go. You guys are practically done. You know what you do now? PK is the 23rd, that's your L value, data score in your sorted list. In your sorted list. What's the 23rd value? Who can tell me? What do you look for? What do you guys look for? What do you look for? You guys see, you see an L here? Why do you think I put an L for you? You're going to use that. What, do, what number are you going to look for first? 23. Good. What data score do you see? Good. So you guys have answered what? 
P75 is the score of 125. Nice. Nice. Okay, note, note the following. All right, let me ask you this question. What if L was a whole number to begin with? What if L is a whole number to begin with? What's a whole number again? One of these values. For example, determine P50. What's P50? Anybody know what P50 is? That's known as the what? The 50th percentile. So, What's the first step? And finally, this is your first step, determine the value of L. The second step would be here to round up, since it was a uh, non-whole number. Your third step is here to give your answer. So in the first step now, we need the locator value. L is K over 100 times N. So what's the value of K here? 50, good. What's N? Same, it's 30. So L is going to be... 50 over 100 times 30, isn't that really the, sa uh, the same as saying what's 1 half of 30? And what are you guys going to say? 1 half of 30 is what? 15. Is that a whole number? Yes, that's a whole number. It's on that list. So since it's a whole number, we don't do what it says here. You guys ready to determine what we do do? Okay, here's, here's going to be the next step now. The next step is going to be this. The answer is this. PK is midway between the alf and L plus first data value in the sorted list. So this portion has two steps. Well, we can say, we, can, we could do this. We can actually say this is a two-step process if you wanted. Second step is where you give your answer. Now it's consistent. So what does that mean for your example? You guys know what this language means? This is what the language means. P50 is what? What's, you guys ever see this phrase before? Midway between? Didn't we ever talk about something being midway between?